Oh boy! Morning. Morning. Oh, it's a weird day today. It's messing with my head. Countdown to launch has started. So we're clearing the house. That's why it sounds all echoey in here, doesn't it? <laughs> it's nearly empty. Horrible. It used, used to be a mirror here. Yeah, it used to be a mirror. Uh, so some of it's going to us mates who are buying it. Some of it's gone on eBay. Some of it's going to the boat and some of it's charity shops. And a lot to the tip. Dylan's trying to. <laughs> uh, so yeah, countdown to launch is on. You ready? No. Come on. Man. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Bit of a sweat on doing that. Uh, right, that's the car unloaded. Uh, that's actually the second load, isn't it? Of stuff yeah. that we've brought yeah. through. What we're trying to do is bring through, every time we come through once a week or so, we bring in like a car load of stuff through. Uh, so this is the second lot, and we reckon there's gonna be about five loads. Uh, we've got another couple of weeks until we launch anyway, so plenty of time to get everything on board. So I think next thing, all back! It's, yeah, try and put all this away. Right, so we are in Galley. Uh, we're just going to show you some of the stuff that we've brought through and uh, stuff like that. We've got these from Next. So, <laughs> it's just tea, coffee and sugar pop things. Uh, what we're doing is, because we haven't moved on the boat yet, is we're just putting everything... Uh, in cupboards. In cupboards and in drawers, quite low down, so just in case we do get any movement, it's uh, it's not going to break anything. Uh, show them the clock. The clock. Lovely little clock. Uh, so the clock is going... It's going there. There. The reason it's going there is that I am going to be sat here doing my work at the dinette, and so it's easy for me to see what time to clock off. Five past nine, starting at nine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got a, uh, 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 we've got a, what's the word? We've got a shelf. <laughs> so show, point, point to the Here. people. Right, so we've got a shelf going there with the mugs on it. Yeah, that's, uh, they're going to just sit on there on the no, shelf. a bit higher than that. A bit higher than that? Yeah, about there. there. So the mugs are going to go on a shelf there. We've got the clock above it, and then just underneath we've got like the tea, coffee, and sugar malarkey. Yeah. Uh, took a couple of sockets there. So we've got our kettle, our hob kettle. Uh, it's just a basic black hot kettle. Uh, the thing here is retraining Sean. Not to fill it to the top. To fill it to the top. At home he just fills the kettle to the top for himself. So we've got to teach him to save water and save gas and stop condensation in the boat. And that's how we're going to do it. So that's the uh, hot top kettle. Uh, we've also got, this is Sean's pride and joy. I love this. <laughs> so this, this also helps stopping condensation. This is a thermal cooker. Explain a thermal cooker, Sean. Thermal cooker works exactly like a slow cooker, but without power. Basically, there's your cooking pot. Cooking this for about, any stews for about 10 minutes, anything like that. All stews, 10 minutes, bring it to full heat. Put the lid on, put it in here, and it's basically a flask, seal it up, put that away for seven hours, and it'll be cooked. We actually tried it, didn't we, the other day? We had a curry. He did a chicken curry, and he just kind of cooked the chicken through on the stove for about 10 minutes, Yeah. and then he put the whole lot in there, 
and then we just left it till well, it was about 10 o'clock and then we ate it about four o'clock. About four o'clock, yeah. And I'll tell you what, it was so gorgeous. And so it, tender. It just uses no power. It cuts down, well, it eliminates condensation. It eliminates really. it completely because you've not got nothing simmering for hours. So stews, casseroles, curries, chilies, things like that. We're going to be using that, I would think, nearly every day, aren't we? Especially in the winter. So that's our thermal cooker. Okay, you can put that away now. Put that away now, can't <laughs> We're trying to kind of put things away and make it interesting, that's why we're showing you. So the uh, thermal cooker in there, we're not actually going to use that as space, we're just using it as safe storage space. Uh, as soon as we've moved on board, we're not using that cupboard, obviously because of the hob there. Uh, the lovely uh, chopping board that Rob's made for us. Loads uh, of batteries on it. Fridge you see. <laughs> uh, Dylan's food, just down there. Uh, what else we got in the galley? I think that's it, isn't it? Oh no, show them the drawer. The drawer. Oh. So we've got. Uh, we've been looking for like a, a utensils tray inside the drawer, uh, and we found one. And it actually, we measured the drawer before, and this fits it perfectly. If I put my hand in, it, it doesn't will, move. It will not move. It's absolutely solid in there. Uh, it's like an expandable one. So this grey bit is with one size, and then this dark grey bit kind of expands outwards. Uh, and we got it to fit the dimensions of the drawer perfectly. Uh, we haven't brought us cutlery yet, but we're quite pleased with that. Yeah. Little things, please little minds, to say. We nicked a couple of ideas from other boaters. So Pat and Eileen from Dunworking uh, are to blame for these. Uh, these are water detector alarms. And what we do is, I'll un unwrap one and show you how it works. So, so that I don't stress out about leaks and things on the boat, we've bought these. And what you do is you put these where there's a risk of water leaks. In our first boat, our calorifier leaked within like the first week of getting it. So I'm a bit paranoid about water leaks. Uh, so we've got three of these. One of them is going, guess where, under the calorifier. Uh, the other one is going under where the shower pump is. And the third one is going under the pump at the water tank right at the front of the boat. Uh, so all you do is you put this uh, wherever you put in it, you put the detector where you think the water could leak and then you turn it on like that and then if any water leaks it makes a sound Ah, oh, like that oh dear turn that off so that's one of the things we've got can you imagine that going off at three o'clock in the morning panic ah panic mr manrin panic spare duvet uh, we're going to store that in here under the Dynex. It's going to be the spare duvet for if we have guests. Uh, we've got some of these. These are vacuum storage bags. You know the stuff where you just put all your clothes in and then suck all the air out and it's like that big instead of that big. That's what those are. Uh, bargain, by the way, six quid for six from Amazon. If I remember, I'll put a link down below. Okay. Got our clothes area there. That's going to go down at the front of the bow so we can do all the washing. So we've got our sofa. At last, we've got our sofa. We were looking for ages and ages for a decent sofa. And there's a couple of websites that do like fitted ones for narrow boats, uh, sites like Nabru. And a couple of the other Bickerstaff boats have got their sofas and they're really nice. But I don't know, it's just, just didn't like them. And we were walking around Ikea a couple of weeks ago and we just kind of saw this and the measurements are absolutely perfect. Uh, the colour is what we wanted, so we had to sit down on it. And it was ace, it was really comfy. So we've just got a slight alteration to make. If you come down and in a little bit, you can see this huge gap at the back. Now what we can do is where the legs are underneath, we can move them, we've checked the frame underneath. And the frame is solid all the way around. So we're just gonna move the legs at the back slightly, just so that this sofa will push back by about, well, if I move this forward, you can see it's about six, seven inches. Uh, we've checked that we won't bang us heads on the side of the gunnels there. We've checked that. And our cushion from Wayfair, love that. So that's the sofa. Uh, the rug, uh, again, we got that from Ikea, 20 quid. It's all right, it's just nice and cozy, isn't it? Uh, it looks nice with the lights. In this corner, we've got our Apple HomePod. So if you want to ask Siri anything, it's not switched on or it would have done it. I'll just use that for his music as well. Uh, we've got a shelf going in the middle here and then on the top, you saw this a couple of weeks ago. Uh, this is our Wi-Fi router. Uh, we're just making some alterations to this. We've got a 12 volt adapter to power it, 
but because sometimes depending on how full the batteries are charged or if we've got the engine on or hooked up you get more than 12 volts it can be like 13.7 volts and we don't want to risk damaging the equipment so we did some tests just to see what the voltage drop was and it was hardly anything we were still getting like 13.3 volts through that socket so we're having a little thing fitted to the back of the distribution board which is going to kind of level out the voltage no matter what it is 13 14 volts it will come out into the dc socket circuit at 12 volts so we'll do a separate vlog on that in a few weeks when we've got that fitted uh, so that's why the wi-fi is not on at the moment uh, we're in the bedroom and this is probably going to look quite a bit different to when you last saw it which it was just the base and everything wasn't it we had nothing in here as you can see it's all done ready to be made this is a uh, mattress with an infill, king size mattress, so I'm not going to do it, you've seen it before. It pulls right out. This is a memory foam mattress. I tell you what, it's gorgeous. I've only slept on memory foam once or twice, usually on holiday, and it's really nice. So we spent a little bit extra uh, to get a memory foam mattress, but it feels absolutely gorgeous. Uh, if you come in, you can just see the infill at the back here. So when we pull the bed out, this infill drops in to that side bit and it makes the king size bed. I just like feeling it. You know when you get things and you just like feeling it. It's like a cat when it's doing that kind of pawing and I just love it. Uh, right, this thing is a, it's called a dry mat. It's an anti-condensation underlay. Now this is really good. This is a tip we got off people on uh, social media. So basically what we do is you can see this picture here is we cut, it's already cut to shape. It sits underneath the mattress and it really, all it does is it gives you like an extra layer of air between the bed base and the mattress. So it's like ventilation under the mattress and it just cuts back on mold setting in and condensation, things like that. It's more ventilation, which is what you need. So that will go under the bed and we're also having a separate piece of this, which will come up the side because the side, this side is actually quite a cold corner of the boat altogether. So we're gonna have another piece of this coming up just to give it that little bit more ventilation, uh, hopefully stop some of the condensation. Got the duvet ready. We're not gonna bring the bed in until we actually move on board. Uh, it is new bedding, but I wanna wash it. You know, if you wash it in your own detergent and conditioner, and it kind of smells like home, like new bedding at home. Does that sound weird? <laughs> Anyway, that's what we're doing. Uh, so king size duvet, which is gonna go on the bed. Uh, we've got a throw, a little faux fur throw. Again, lovely and soft. Uh, some uh, duck feather pillows here. And uh, the TV is ready. If Sean comes right in, oh, it's just an excuse to sit on this lovely mattress. So with the TV, we've done it exactly like we did it in the saloon. So it's on a bracket. And don't forget, we sat this way on. Our heads will be back there where you are. And this will pull out. You know, just in case we want to see anything close up. I'm not telling you the kind of movies Sean watches. Uh, but it pulls out like that. So if I'm working in the dinette, Sean can come in here, uh, stick his USB stick in and, and watch a movie. Ah, push that back. How smart is that? I really love that. That's brilliant. Two 12 volt sockets and some USB sockets under here. So we can charge us phones up on a night. And we've got a spare two 30 volt socket just behind this lip, uh, which is actually what we're gonna plug these in with. These are just some LED strips that we're just gonna run under the lip of this cupboard. And we're gonna put the switch down at that side so it's like a little night light. Yeah, we're gonna put those in uh, in a week or two after we've launched. <sighs> Knackered now. Because this part of the boat gets quite cold in the winter when it's cold, especially this area, it's prone to condensation. Um, we spoke to a few boaters who said that under the bed, side of the bed, kind of in the wardrobe, that's the worst areas for them. So what we've decided to do is get some extra ventilation. If Sean just comes down, we're gonna have an extra ventilation plate just in this side of the bed. Further in, we're gonna have another ventilation plate at the back of the bed, just down here. I'm right at the very back of the bed, near the bow doors. There's another ventilation plate into the bed. And then if we open the wardrobe door, it's a bit dark in there, but we're gonna have another ventilation plate between the wardrobe and under the bed in there. So altogether, four lots of ventilation under the bed. Moving on to a boat, 
in some ways it's easier than moving house once you've got rid of all the stuff that you don't want to take with you. There's not that many boxes to pack up. What we've been doing is kind of putting it all in a corner in the spare room and then bringing it over a kind of a car load at a time once a week. And any new stuff we've had delivered straight here. <laughs> That's it. So it's just, it, in a way it is a bit easier. It is hard letting go of a lot of stuff though. Yeah. And it is tough because you're leaving a lot of stuff behind and taking stuff to charity shops and taking stuff to the tip. Carabu. Okay, that's it. And it might be stuff that you've not used in years that's just been under the bed, but it still kind of gets you a little bit. But then again, it's exciting getting the new stuff for the boat. And as you've seen today, kind of putting things in the new places on the boat is kind of exciting and a bit of a buzz. And we've got some more of that to do before the launch. If you want to stay updated, Make sure that the notifications is switched on and we'll let you know when the next vlog is released. Make sure you're subscribed and give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you next time. See you later, bye. on the boat already, we haven't even moved on to it yet. <laughs> we are going to show you our error. What is it with me and laundry? Love it. <laughs>